I'm going to demonstrate the plyometric one routine. All of the plyometric routines should start with five to seven minutes of some kind of warm-up. That can be easy running, elliptical trainer, or biking. Um, and then you go into a series of exercises that you should do twice. They progress in core one from some easy, more basic exercises through core two and core three where they get a little bit more difficult. Again, each of them you should go through once or twice and then they all finish with a series of cadence drills where you're trying to run very fast with fast turnover, mostly in place, it's not for speed, and then with a stride also carrying that fast turnover into your, into your running. In plyometric one, the first exercise is fast skips. So it's a skipping motion with good arms, but you're trying to go as quickly as you can. The idea is reducing your ground contact time, being able to deliver force to the ground quickly. Uh, you can listen and you actually get really good feedback about how fast you're turning over. You can actually hear yourself accelerating. The second exercise is toe jumps. And here you'll stand and, and jump, trying to go as high as you can. And as soon as you hit and load the calves, then you bounce right back up again. Third exercise is heel jumps. That's where you're on your heels and jumping like that as well. The uh, next exercise is a bo one-legged box jump step up. So you start somewhere in the eight to maybe even as much as 16 to 18 inches high range, step up and jump. And in order to turn it into a plyometric exercise, you want to make sure it's a fluid motion that you step up and that when you hit, you bounce down, step right back up. So, and same thing on the other leg. rest of the exercise, you can go jump a little higher. You can end up uh, trying to do a few more of them, or you can go from one box height to a little higher box height. Again, once you get your knee much beyond about 15 to 16 inches, it's, you're not really in an advantageous position, so it doesn't make sense to go much higher than that. The uh, next exercise is alternate leg toe taps. So this one, again, you pick something that could be anywhere from 6 to 12 or 18 inches, even 24, and quickly alternating feet as you jump back and forth. The uh, last two exercises, the last, second to last, is squat jumps. You can either do it with your hands behind your head or just flinging your arms up into the air, trying to go down weight back, trying to keep your weight more towards your heels so your shins are more vertical. And then the final one is bounds, and that's a running exercise, and I have to do it towards you, where you're trying to take as big of steps as you possibly can. After you've done that series of exercises a couple of times, then you would go into a cadence drill, if you're on a football field, using the hash marks is a great way to do that. Go 40 to 50 meters. If you're not, just running in place as rapidly as you can for eight to 10 seconds. Give yourself a few seconds break, and then go into a stride where you're trying to run fast but maintaining that faster turnover.